Dames en heren, uw applaus voor het Mitchelton Scott Cycling Team! Flanders face it. I think it's the trail of the cake uh, of the Cobble Classics. Uh, we have a good team, strong team, can play in a lot of different uh, scenarios and then that's also our strength today. Yeah, I'm really excited. I really love this race. I did win it in 2011, so it's always special to, to be back here in Flanders Fields. Especially now with the team, we have a lot of cards to play, so it will be fun to play. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's, uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to ride in the, in the leader's jersey from the World, world Tour. Um, and yeah, racing in Belgium is always, uh, is always fun. Yes, yeah, so it's a pretty special uh, race of the year, Tour of Flanders. Um, we've got two, two guys going well, uh, Luke Durbridge and Matteo Trenton, who should be right there amongst the action. Uh, hopefully we're going to have a nice dry day and everyone stays, stays upright. What do you think about uh, glorious Belgian weather? Well, we've got to look after this big boy. Unfortunately. Um, so I'm stuck with him for probably <laughs> six hours. Out there. So we're in for uh, yeah, another really good race, I think. The best tour of the year. Yeah, this is Durbo's new thing. You reckon? Uh, I'm retiring for the best tour of the year. Yeah, the best, best tour of the year. Race of the year's river. Yeah, so bring it on. We don't have any leading rider in the bunch that yeah, we really need to be with this guy. So I think it's going to be open to more and more solutions. We are ready for everyone. Just let the race flow for the first kilometers and then be ready to to be everywhere in the last part of the race. I think with the team we've got, I think we can play off with a few different um, play off quick steps. It's very hard to say in these races what's going to happen. It's like it's like having a crystal ball. No one has it, so no, no one knows what's going to go on. So it's, that's why we love these races. So it's quite exciting. But uh, yeah, but my plan is to make that good position into the prime one second time and then roll the dice. Very good on the mic, very good. You can see now the race for the second and third place. I think she's uh, she's going to be one of the main contenders for the Ardennes week, Annemiek van Vloten. I think we're going to have a Dutch podium because Annemiek van Vloten is going to round out the podium. One, two, three. Well, the Netherlands. Fantastic sprint from Van Vloten to make it onto the podium there. Second place to Amy P. What a day, I crashed really bad. I think I dislocated my shoulder in the crash and I crashed on my head. It was just, we had a plan to be in front all together yeah, for the muur. But they just crashed in front of me and this was like a super big crash with high speed. So uh, I could not avoid it and then uh, I was like dropped. So I needed some time to start to think again. But then I got my focus again and uh, yeah, to be on the podium with uh, this kind of racing was nice. Tanaptra is making his move, Nicky Tanaptra is making his move and nobody's able to follow him just yet. We have nothing, nothing, no luck. No luck. nothing that can be called luck. Okay. Uh, I stopped for a pee and when I was riding back in the convoy I just crashed by myself in a slippery corner and the bike was a little bit broken. I need to say thank you to the mechanic of uh, the Vita concept. Ah, Vita Vita concept. concept. Yeah. Um, he had me to fix it out, uh, but from there it was like more than 40 kilometers chasing. And after the moor, the guys made a really awesome job to bring me back in the bunch. But in these races, you cannot do miracles. So if it was probably 50 kilometers shorter, I could still think about something. But the last time on the quad, when the lights just went off, I couldn't, I couldn't hold the wheel. And that's it's it's the much end much. of the story. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it is what it is. Uh, the guys were really good, we were in the right place where we have to be and, and then I was still there with 30 guys, so there is something good to take out of this race, even if the rest of this is not but, uh, what we are hoping for, not even close. So. Well that's another Tour of Flanders, that was a hard bloody ronda today. I would say the team had a fair bit of bad luck. Myself personally, the team rode really great for me, they put me in a really good position. Um, I made the first crucial split over the Quaramont um, and then to go to the Koppenberg I was uh, probably a little bit too far back and then there was a crash in the Koppenberg and I had to uh, had to walk up it um, and then when I got going again uh, the gap was too big but Luca and uh, Alex Evans should try to get me back um, but 
that was my day down. So, a bit of a shame. <sighs> the team really dedicated everything to us two leaders today. So I really like to thank them big time. Um, and then it all bids on the the best race of the year, <laughs> which is next Sunday. Really wasn't wasn't our day. A big congratulations to Annemiek uh, van Vluten who was third in the women's race. So fantastic ride. Um, and look, personally, we're, we're really looking forward to to Roubaix. I think there were some some good signs in there amongst the bad luck. So hopefully we can get a, a bit of luck next week and uh, get a result there. Thanks, guy, man. Feel like you're blushing, man. Huh? Feel like you're blushing. <laughs> I think you need your glasses on, mate. <laughs> you fool like this. These are. The... I'm doing an interview at the moment. Pass off. I've been given a Pass high off, responsibility, Pass off, and I'm taking it with full respect. Have some respect in your media crew. Some people these days.